I am. <laughs> there we go. Get a dance, guys. Dude. I gotta try to make everybody's faces. <laughs> Damn! I hit that on like that was. I brought luck. At least we had the technical difficulties before. Y'all know I just recoup right here. Right here, that was magic. Yeah, no? that was good. Okay. It was right. It needed to be in the beginning because once we get started on this, there we can't have any problems. Mm. So there you go. Hopefully, I hopefully you all can hear us. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. <laughs> welcome and welcome back to those of you that joined us. <laughs> in, our, in our little mini episode before this one, we are with you guys this Thursday evening live to talk about the Umbrella Academy, which is a wonderful show on Netflix. We have been binging it collectively as a geekly crew, and we warned you guys that tonight is a spoiler-filled show. So if you did not finish it or you didn't even start it yet and you care about spoilers, you might want to just come back, yeah. save this video, save it, save it. Well, what if they didn't... What if they didn't watch just maybe the last few episodes? We can at least well, give them. To say, or if you don't care, just stay. <laughs> or if you don't, you know, even if you do care, you, you can stay too. Because you're still going to want to watch the show. So it doesn't I matter. mean, I didn't finish it. Tessa did not finish the last oh, 30 minutes. So I have like half gonna... an hour left and it's killing me. I was like, I messaged Amanda. I go, how much longer do I have? She's like, five minutes. I go, five-ish. She goes, no, five. I'm like, ugh. Okay. <laughs> Episode nine to oh. go to the last one, so I could be caught up. See, I yeah. could have done that if I had done that. But that I'm ex smart, but I'm excited to break it. Like the the ending was so good, Tessa. Like I'm excited to share it with you. You know, I'm okay. excited. I'm excited to tell you and surprise you. Like we get to watch the end again through like virgin eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we didn't introduce ourselves yet. Our oh, our mom yeah. was going to get mad at us. Let's introduce yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Just a quick introduction, just to, just to make me happy, just a quick one. So, hello, everyone. My name is Amira Martin from 4 .com. I am Tessa with MamasGeeky.com. Sarah with SarahScoop.com. I am the white violin. <laughs> Stop. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That was the title of the last episode. So that's, not giving but it is also, okay, I'll get to what the reference, because it is a okay. person. It is a person, too. So, anyway, I'm Amanda. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm Amanda. Are, you, are we jumping right into the last episode? No, I mean, but. It's but, fresh on our minds, so yeah. But I'm just saying, after <laughs> I watch on, these. Let's not do it. Don't do it. Megan, Megan or Meredith <laughs> said she I hasn't to... finished. Tessa, after so. I'm just saying, after I finish watching this, I've been researching the comics. I'm there's all like the the characters from the comics and all that. So I wanted yeah. to tell you all something about that too. I haven't read you the comics. I went to my local comic shop and I said I want the Umbrella Academy, and they're like, we are out. They were out like by Sunday. They were completely out mm -hmm. of all that they had. Can you? Isn't that crazy? That's awesome. So can do you want to before we get into the chat about the movie? Can I like? Can we play a little game? Can we play a game? I got a little game for us tonight. Okay. <laughs> it's a quick one. It's a quick one. It is name that number. Name that oh. number. Okay? Okay. So I, in the comics, they all have names. I mean, we, we all know in the show they all have names. I mean, there's number one, Luther, right? right? Diego. Like, that pretty much mm -hmm. goes back and forth with the comics. But... They are given names. They're, they're hero names, you want to call it, in the comics. So y'all oh, have okay. to guess which number it is, which person it is, all right? Are y'all ready okay. for this? The rumor. Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, that's that, uh, Allison. Um, Allison. But what number? Oh. What number? What number? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what number. No, she's three. Three or four? It's which? She's three because four is Klaus. Klaus is four. Yeah. Three. We go with three. Okay. She's three. She's three. three. You three. She's three. You got it. She's three. <laughs> I, I know Klaus is four. All right. Klaus is your favorite. Space Klaus boy. Is my favorite. I love Klaus. Space like, I boy. I want my best friend. Him as my best friend. That's. I just want. I want Klaus. All right. Do y'all hear the next one? Space boy. The space boy. 
Well, one. Yeah. Probably. No, Space Boy would be, I'm thinking because he was on the moon. Um, no, it yeah, would be number five. No, because remember, um, Allison's daughter called him Space Boy. Oh, yeah, that's true. What are, what's your final answers? What's your final answer? I go with one. One, I guess. It's yeah. one. It's one, okay. Luther. Oh, time you got number one. Time, time was wrong on six, though. She <laughs> was wrong. Tanya's commenting, you guys, on the TV show. She's at volleyball practice right now, so. But she's yeah. Not, but that's her. So if you see those comments, that's Tanya. All yeah. right. All right. I'll give y'all the easy one. The boy. Y'all don't know the boy? What did you say? The what? The boy. The boy. B-O-Y. Oh, boy. Oh. Number five. Five. Number five. No, the boy is number five, and that's what he's calling the comics. The seance. Oh, number four. That would be Klaus. Number four. Yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, the Kraken. Well, that will be six. It's the bed. The Kraken. Ben's number six? Six. He's got to be, right? Because Vanya was seven. Yes. Okay. Is that what? Final answer? No. Got to be. Hold on. Because Diego's number two. Four. Yeah. Okay, Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Or is Diego number six? Okay. No. Seven. It was not Ben anyway. It Diego, number two, knife-wielding guy, is called the Kraken in, in the comic. What? Yeah. Yeah. And because in the comics, he has a power that has not been either that he doesn't have in the show or not shown yet in the show. Mm. Well, they got to give you something for season three. So that's why the Kraken. Do y'all want to know what it is? Do y'all want to know what the power is? Yeah. Sure. He can hold his breath for unlimited amount of time. Oh. In the comics. That's kind of uh-huh. cool. Uh-huh. Ain't that weird? Okay. All right. We only have two left. I got that one, by the way, and she's exclaiming that she is a winner. Good job, Tanya. <laughs> we only have two left. The horror. Horror. That would be six, then. I, it, it, what did she say? Horror, horror. I think. Like, like horror. H-O-R-R. Okay. Yeah. We're totally PG tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you what think of? Stella! Just because this is the nighttime show, Sarah. <laughs> I said, I what think Tanya's you? not on here you with us. Dirty mind, Sarah. <laughs> You're blaming me when I thought you said something like the that. The horror. H O R R O O R. The horror. Ooh, you're killing I me. I can't believe. <laughs> can't believe Sarah. So number, did y'all say number six? Yeah. yeah. Horror. Ben, the one who's got ben. right with the tentacles and all that. And remember at the beginning when he, they sent him into the bank, and he didn't want to go, and, and then he was like, "Can we just yeah. leave?" And he came out with all black stuff on him and stuff. I was yeah. So that's the horror. So I, that's him. And then the last, the white violin. The white well, that's violin, Vanya, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was. I just thought that was interesting to share before we got into that. Yeah, that is. I like that. That was fun. <laughs> Good job. Why are we still fun. on the topic of the comics? Tessa, is this comic that you thought was going to be made into? Since you're like comic queen here, that you thought would be made into a Netflix series? But I had never even heard of um, the Umbrella Academy, but a, a Deadly Class is something I had that heard was, of mm-hmm. and kind of knew about and had heard that it was going to be turned into, uh, oh, Amanda's getting her errors again. Oh, my gosh, Amanda. <laughs> um, so I did know about Deadly Class, but Umbrella Academy, I had never even heard. And, and I ask a lot, too, at my comic shops. I'll be like, what's something that I should read that's not Marvel or DC? Like, what's a indie comic or a image or, you know, something we're not. So I was uh, – it's not one I knew of, but now, like I said, I went to go, I want to go read it, and I went to my local comic shop, and they, this, I think, was it released on Friday on Netflix? Yeah. Not, and they not, said a by week, Sunday, a they week were, from like, yesterday. fresh out. A week from tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They had none, so I'm going to have them order it for me, because yeah. I always like to support local if I can, but it might be a couple weeks, and I'm like, yeah. 
annoyed by it, but I know there's going to be a season two, so. It's, it, it was one of those, like, I had done a trailer reaction to it, and I was like, oh, I gotta check this out. Like, that looks good enough. I'm at least check out the first episode and mm -hmm. make my decision if I'm gonna watch this, if I'm gonna invest these 10 episodes, one hour each, you know, I gotta make the. And they're uh, an hour, too. They're they are long. long. They are long. I'm like, I'm like, this is like a mini series, you know? <laughs> but after the, like, 10 minutes into it, 10 minutes into it, when the girl is not pregnant and they, they, the Russian girl, she is not I'm pregnant. In the, are you talking about the swimming pool? Yes. Oh and she's God. sitting there and flirting with this boy. And then I, that's why I'm like, that boy must have been freaked out. Like he's going to have some PTSD. <laughs> that boy that she was even talking. He's and, never going to flirt with a girl again. Like, nope. <laughs> and she jumps into the pool and then she's in labor. Like that was crazy just to start off. And I was like, I'm into this show. And, and I want to know what number of kid that was. Was that one of the kids I they think, got? I Did think, ever know? I think I that's, I think that's number seven. I think that's the white violin. I don't know. I just do. She seems like the major character, you know, to me. But I don't know that we know that because he only got seven and there were what, 43. I don't even yeah. know if that was anybody that he because, got. Yeah. We yeah, because we didn't see her say yes, but we did True. see him act. True, but I right. thought that was number. I always thought that was number one. I always thought that was Luther. Really? So yeah, thought, that would make sense too. Well, even oh, look at that. how like so she had looked. Kind of this European thing going with him. So but I she was like, was she was like Russian though, right? They were yeah, speaking yeah, like yeah, Russian. Even, well, she could have been. So I was. So she could have been from a couple places, but yeah. I, because he was on the moon and like he had no problem like being an astronaut, so I was like, oh, you know. I don't know. I just yeah, I it, it, it would make sense that that was the start of it, the first one. Number yeah, one. like I could see that. But they were all born at exactly the same time, weren't yeah. they? Or was it just yeah. that day? No, I just no. mean like the first oh, thing yeah, that I don't she know really it's... showed. I don't know oh, if it's right. exactly yeah. at that time, but they didn't show. I mean, they showed the baby, but you couldn't tell. You didn't, I don't even think you knew it was a boy or a girl, right? From right. The, yeah. Right. So I still think it's the white violin. Don't prove me wrong. I have not been proven wrong yet on Mass Singer. So y'all try to prove me wrong on this one. <laughs> oh, we're gonna talk about that. I'm on Mass Singer. Yeah. We need to show about that. <laughs> um, I I think that well, when we had the show on Tuesday, we kind of talked about the beginning of the show, but I don't know mm -hmm. if everybody got like the premise of at least the first episode because we really didn't tell anybody what we thought about the first episode. Mm -hmm. So for anyone that maybe hasn't watched it yet, that's, that's watching now, like maybe should we do like a rundown of how we felt when we watched the first, because all five of us watched the first episode. Mm -hmm. So we can at least talk oh, yeah. about it. And, like, um, kind of them coming together and that whole, like, sibling arguments and stuff like that. So, I, I don't know. Did you guys kind of figure out who was who in the first episode? I kind of did already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So much has happened. I'm, I'm really, I was, like, instantly hooked, though. I was. Like, because sometimes the first episode is like, mm, all right, it was good, but I'll check out the next one. You know what I mean? But this one, I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this whole series. Like, I knew. Yeah. Right what away. Did, what did you think, Sarah? Because this isn't. I that, when I was like, you watched the show, right? You watch like what episode are you on, Sarah? No, I, I watched. It. I skipped uh, at the end, whatever number nine. But you I watched the first one. Nine, because I wanted because Amira gave the advice. If and I just didn't yeah. have time. Like you guys said, these are an hour long. Yeah, like yeah. it was. You know, it's a lot of time because you have like this isn't a show that I can just put on. And watch while I'm on my computer. No, like, you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. Pay attention to mm -hmm. it because there's so much that happens. But I liked it. I thought it was like it kept your interest. I guess is what I'm saying. But I think you have to sit down and watch it. So you have to be like committed to the time of it to yeah. actually know what's happening, what's going on. Mm -hmm. You do. Yeah, I, I'm like ready to get Amanda's take on the ending still. <laughs> I don't want y'all. I'm not jumping to the ending. I know, I but Tessa, like, her. I'm I glad that I took Amira's advice before this um, because, like, the other episodes are good, but the ending, like, the last episode is, like, the best. Yeah. I know. Well, I watched it with my husband, and he was like, well, you can watch it today if you want. But, like, then I felt bad, and so... We, we, like, put the girls to bed early. We were like, we're going to watch this. And then it just, I still had half an hour left. I yeah. didn't get to finish it. It's killing me. 
<laughs> but there was so much I will say in the last few episodes that I kind of called. Like, no, like I, I mean, knew Harold Jenkins was going to, like, immediately. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know immediately, but I picked up on that fast that he that he was like not who he you said. Introduced him, yeah. I was like, this but guy. I was not convinced. I was not convinced from the very beginning that number seven didn't have no powers. Like right away, I was like, oh no, she was born on that day. She yeah. got powers. Like yeah. I knew from like the very beginning. I was like, number seven got powers. Like they knew something. Did you think they would be so? Did you think they'd be so strong, or did you think she just? I thought they like, were. Um, I thought exactly why. I thought that if she has powers yeah. and they're so powerful, like, they have to, like, suppress it. Because I was like, those yeah. pills were some kind of, like, antidepressant, something yeah. to keep her down. I knew that's what they were, and, or anxiety yeah. or something. And so I was like, oh, no, she, her powers are big. Her powers yeah. are yeah, big. Especially, as soon as she's like, oh, I've been taking them since I was a kid, I was like, mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yep. That was on purpose. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, you know, I was like. This girl's got like, cra- I figured she had crazy powers. Cause that's how, that's what always happens, right? But isn't that But I of- didn't think about until like the, uh, maybe episode seven, I was like, oh, maybe it was her that like caused the apocalypse, like everything. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think that right away, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, I was no, starting to think at the, at the end. But isn't that a testament to the show that like so much was predictable? But it was still so great. You know, just like how they just, that's a testament to the show. I'm like, okay, yeah, everything like that was predictable. That was, but this show was amazing. Like yeah. the plot, yeah. the whole plot, the, tw- I love the yeah. twists and turns and just, I don't know. I love, I like, like the dysfunctional part of it. <laughs> yeah. it and going off of that, like I liked the family part too. Like even yeah. when they were yeah. adopted, they're all siblings and like they all had that going too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tanya said, Tanya said, so I watched the first two episodes, then watched the last one, then went back and watched the rest. I should not have done that. Watch them in order. <laughs> <laughs> but I gave her permission because she's like, I don't know. And I was like, just skip to the end because, you know, she's, we all know Tanya is our um, Jiminy Cricket. Of yeah. Our- so there's certain things that she doesn't really want to watch or hear. So I'm like, skip to the end. So then you skip all the naughty language and you get yeah. to know. But now she wants to go back and watch it. So we hooked her. We hooked her. I know. That says a lot about the show, yeah. too. Yeah. I think a lot of people call that Laura. Laura, yeah. they said, I totally knew she was powerful. I mean, that's yeah. what I said. It, so you just, it's predictable. It is. It so is. that's why you say, yeah, yeah Tanya. But the, even the whole story, the apocalypse story. Oh, my gosh. How much? I mean, my favorite character. Hello. Who? Klaus. 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 Yeah. Oh, my favorite, too. I think he's got to be the Everybody's favorite. Wow. What about number seven? I mean, mixes it up. Nah. That's why, that's why you have to go back to, and watch the show because Klaus, like, he, he was not a big thing at the end. For everybody. I just wanted to have a variety. <laughs> <laughs> but then there were so many other characters I love too. Like those killers that go through time. Is, and oh, I love yeah. them. I love them. Like the best fight scenes too in this, like, Oh my god, when, with his girlfriend like going into the hot tub or whatever, that whole that whole scene was crazy. That was, it was. That was I love them together and I love when they you know, when we finally saw them battle each other, which was really yeah. fun. Yeah. That was like, oh my gosh, it's like watching two assassins like battle each other and try to kill it was it was so good. The action was just so awesome. I was like, oh, who's gonna win? And then they I knock one wins, which kinda like it's a bummer, but it's awesome at the same time. It's like you're so you're both so powerful, you can't even kill each other. I you know. know. <laughs> And I will tell you, she blew my mind, Mary J. Blige. I was like, I didn't even know she was like an actress. I didn't either. Oh, I, I didn't oh. even realize that was her at first. Me and Greg. Right, me either. Me. Brett was we, After the first episode, he's like, wow, Mary J. Blige killed it. And I go, who? He's like, cha-cha. And I go, I was like, that's her? Like, it was like the second, I think it was after the second episode. I And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I just didn't ever picture her doing that, I guess. Mm-hmm. And like. Wow, she's one of my favorite characters. I didn't realize it till the show. I finished the show. Like Greg told me, like after we watched the series, he's like, "You know that was Mary J. Blige." Like he had just found out, and I was like, "What?" Well, like I was like, "That makes sense now." I was like, I kept seeing her name. I thought she was doing the music or something. I was like, I thought she was like being behind the music or this or something. And then it hit me. I was like, "Oh, that was Mary J. Blige." I was like, "Oh." She was so 
so good. And I, I mean, her name. both of them. I didn't notice her name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought she was doing the music. I don't know. But I was like, I like her song. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she got a different style for this show. Like, she's bringing, look, she's a well-rounded musician. <laughs> you are a <laughs> Oh my god. But you so, mentioned oh, if you listen, was it the episode nine? So here's a little a little fun fact if you didn't hear it. Episode nine, I think it was. Was that where she stole the girlfriend and tied her up? Yeah. I uh, yeah, I think it was nine. I think it was, it was nine. the very end of eight. Yeah, it was so, nine. So before Hazel comes back and finds them, um, you can hear Mary J. Blige singing a song in the background. Uh, what? Oh, in that scene. So see, I, was, I wasn't completely wrong. <laughs> no, so she did sing a song for um, for the soundtrack, so you can hear her while she's while we're listening to her act. Ah. You can hear her singing. It's, it was really cool. I was like, oh that's my god, cool! It's that's crazy. really cool. Mm-hmm. That's so that cool. whole little duo, though, Cha Cha. What's his name? Hey, yeah, hey, hey, hey Cha Cha. That even I'm gonna say there's a main plot, but even the plots within the main plot. Like, of the show, like, for him, because you know, like, Cha-Cha loves Hazel. That's why she couldn't kill him. She was, She's in love right. with Hazel. Yes. And he's in love with this, this donut, like, old lady. <laughs> I was like, how is Hazel in love with this old lady? But I, but it's sweet, because he has such a, like, like, he's going out killing, and she's looking at birds, and he's, like, wants that life, you know? Like that, yeah. I'm just telling you. Like I love that whole plot and duo. It's j- just <sighs> yeah, it was really. I just and we get to see more because you see he got off yeah. before the apocalypse. They they had the suitcase and they left. Mm-hmm. What? They get to see you know what? Oh going oh on. yeah, Tessa. <laughs> Wait, the apocalypse oh, still happens. We can ask Tessa. Tessa, do you think anyone um <laughs> anyone gets killed? Well, apparently now the apocalypse still happens. So. No, but do you think that's a good question? Answer, but, Sarah, answer. But do you think anyone gets killed? Well, what's his name? Pogo is that his name? He got killed because I saw him die already. Wait, who's Pogo? Oh, the, the, the little. Oh yeah, we well, deserved it. <laughs> that's not a nice thing to call he him. He deserved what? it. Wasn't that his name? He's like the yeah. butler. He, he was an accomplice. <laughs> he was an accomplice and all that. He deserved it. But I felt bad for mom. <laughs> I, I hope none of them die. I mean, I thought Allison died in that one. I thought Vanya killed her for sure. I and then, died. yeah, nobody dies. And then in she this. didn't die. Nobody. Which was crazy. When they die, they get injected with the stuff and they had to inject Luther with the, with the popos, blood or whatever. Now he's like, he got hairy and like, like that, and right? And now Allison's injected. I did. I was. In, I. It was funny because when he got all deflowered, I was like, "Oh, well, Colton didn't, but at least Luther did." I love. I it. think Amira. I think we should have Amanda explain the violin scene with her. With, oh my gosh, she'll, she'll explain it like Louise. But I like that Laura said. What is it? It reminded her of Travolta and Samuel. Yeah, Obama from Pulp Fiction. It's true. Her that I. I totally agree. Totally agree. It's true because they're just be, they're just killing people and talk. It's like, is it, why is this called a quarter pound? Like, it's true. <laughs> yeah. And they're total so killers. My final answer: I don't think any of the seven die except Ben's already dead. So, but I hope. Anyway, if Did Carl dies, I'm unhappy. I mean, I don't I'm know if, if, don't if any anymore. of the seven die. I but I don't like know if the violin like. Viola, number seven, is she like, she's not dead, right? Wasn't she just kind of knocked out at the end? Well, I don't know. Now you have to explain the whole scene. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> well, what did you leave so off on? What did you leave off on? She's heading out to go, her eyes are all blue. Oh, she's okay. Crazy. She's going to and go. She's heading yes. out to go play violin at the concert. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? And the house is all crumbled down. Yeah. Oh, so she already uh, killed him. Mom's dead. They think anyway. Oh, that. They, and they just and number five just realized he said, "Oh, it's Vanya. Like she's the one who causes the apocalypse." So then they all and rush then off. Hazel and Cha Cha have been told that if they protect Vanya, um, Hazel gets to spend a life with the his donut lady in whatever time period he wants, and Cha Cha will get a new partner. That's so. That's that's where I'm at. Vanya's 
pissed off and not uh, going to go play violin, which is not a good combination for her. Right now. <laughs> so she goes there, and they all try, try to go there. I think they all right. They all realize that uh, mm-hmm. like she's going to cause the apocalypse. Like they all go there, so they're rushing off. And this one, I'm I'm mad about that Luther guy because number one, because I feel like he caused oh, all this. Tanya's saying not to say the end. Uh oh, why? She's because everybody's watched it. Well, look. So, what? We gave them enough time. <laughs> that's, not, that's what I'm saying. We Nobody gave them enough them. time. Like we've been only in the for yeah. three days. We can't hold, we can't hold this oh, we look. This is we told you. This is the Umbrella Academy chat. You better watch your stuff. You know, and come talk to us. I know Sean Kelly watched it. All these people yeah. watch it, Tanya. <laughs> Laura, I think I think you should tell it. I mean, people that are yeah. watching this that oh, are yeah. going to come back and watch it, they've probably already watched it. Yeah. Or they like me and they skip to the end. Yeah. Oh, she said it's all good. She's dying. <laughs> no, so right. she's over there playing violin. They all trying to rush there to stop her, right? Then here comes like and and the one girl what what's her is she number three the Allison with the throat she can't talk now rumor right so she can't use she's, the power she's the only they, she's the only one they should have sent in number one like in the first place she's the only one they should have sent in because she's the one like they had the closest bond like I think she could you know and and Sherry feels bad from killing her. So she should have been, but then, so, and they make eye contact. She's like, oh, you know, they make that eye contact and she's like, oh, I'm so, and, and, and then she's playing the violin and she is starting to hit her. Then comes this big doof, Luther, <laughs> going to be like, get her! Always oh, ruining he is stuff. An idiot. He <laughs> always ruining stuff. They all said not to put her in there. I blame him for half. half and the problem. she then, they're going to break eye contact. She's going to see him. Then she's going to start going at it, right? Doing her, d- killing everybody, <laughs> you know? Like she's killing all the people in the... Right, well, she's watching. like emitting something that's like, kill, just like crumble it, like whatever she's emitting with the violin. I mean, that's why they call it like the white violin, right? She emits energy or something with it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well, the, her dad obviously gave it to her too, because we saw him at the... That's a whole nother thing. Yeah. But you and, keep going. And then on top of this, these guys start rushing in. Sent by what was the place that number five worked for? The what, commission. The commission, right? Is that what it is? So they they trying to like not they don't want to stop the. Tell me all. I'm like I can't sit still. I'm all like. So the guys, gonna... these guys rush in trying to protect her too from because they want the apocalypse to happen, and so they start fighting. And who saves the day? Who saves the day on that Klaus. one? I hope it's Klaus. Klaus! Because he, he admits it like he's got his power and here comes Ben, the horror with his tentacles, and he just like, he starts, yeah, he starts grabbing those people and smiling. I was like, oh! I was like, oh, Klaus and Ben, the dynamic duo! Like he was- Well, I knew something was up when he started being able to like touch Ben and like Ben saved Diego and Klaus. And, yes, like and and the dad was like, "You haven't been using all your powers, you know." Yes, but listen, Cla- oh. Klaus ain't stopping number seven though, the white violin. Like, but she, oh. like, what what happens? Like, she kind of collapsed her, and they grab her. You know, like she fall. Don't she like collapse or something? No, the, remember what Allison did? Remember With Allison the violin was behind strap? Oh, she came up and she she shot. She had the gun to her head, right? She, Allison was going to kill her, but then she was going to, like, you think that, but then she was like, no, like, that's why I said the family part of this movie, because or this show is just because she's like, no, like, that's my sister. And she shot then instead, what the, what'd you say? The, um, the strings or something. It was the strings, was it? Or the, yeah. What? I thought something happened at the end with the violin. Yeah, she was, well, she still had the energy, but she, when she shot, she shot, like, near her ear. So, like, all her little power that she was putting out. Remember, she shot it through the roof yeah. of the um, place? Yeah. And they, like, moved it. They they thought they were going to save the earth because they, like, when she shot it out, they, like, moved her. Yeah. And it mm-hmm. shot the moon. So, they're like, oh, we apocalypse ended. Like, they're all, like, happy, right? They're like, oh. Whew. No, they caused it. 
it, that caused it because this this asteroid it shot the moon. This big asteroid's coming for Earth. <laughs> Tessa, no, what Tessa. happens when you're dealing with time? Because it's like everything's still going to happen. It's going to find a way to happen. So it's coming. It's coming to destroy Earth. And then at the same time, right? That that little deal was made with um with Cha Cha and 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 Hazel and and the, and the old lady <laughs> that he's going to run off to. <laughs> and so that happens, and um. But you're like, oh, they're going to take the deal and do that. And, and Hazel was like, nope. He was like, because uh, do you see that she left us with a suitcase? Like, we're the world's ending, and we're going down with it. Like, Hazel knew that, right? And Hazel knew it right up front. So he was like, nope. So what did he do? He, they just, he grabbed her, and he left. We don't know where. He grabbed her, and he left. Oh, you get the cha-cha? Where yeah. The cha-cha? Wait, did he shoot her? No, he didn't shoot her. Remember, mm-hmm. they were in the car and they were um, trying to track Vanya, and then oh! he started driving, and he put his seatbelt on real fast, and she had hers off, so he crashed the car, and she like fell out of the car. He flew out. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, she, she didn't die. She didn't die. Then, <laughs> so that's that was pretty cool, though. That was so cool. But then he went back and got his old girlfriend, right? And donut they, lady. The old lady. <laughs> and then he's not letting her go. Huh? He loves her. He does. Yeah, I know. I love that love. I mean, hey, I love, love, love it. Love, right? I love it. <laughs> but then they show they saw like there was a suitcase that he hid in like the vents or something. Yeah. So you think I guess it's him that hid it, right? I mean that's what it makes you think, like because the they had the suitcase in the vents and so he got he actually has a suitcase to run off with his his love, his donut love. And and have their donut passion dreams together. Laura, Laura, come to the donut. What's that? What did they do to the boss? Remember? Did you forget? I forgot. What did Hazel do to the boss? That's how he got the suitcase. Oh, he shot. Oh, she. He shot the boss. Right. Yes. He shot her. Oh, yeah. And he took the suitcase. And he took the suitcase from her. The boss is the one that got shot. That's right. Yeah. And then goes back. This asteroid's coming, and they still up in there. They they realize now they didn't save Earth. This is still happening, right? This is still it this is still happening. Here comes this asteroid. Oh, and number five gets the idea. He's like, "Well, I can hop us all through time, right?" He was like, "Oh, we're gonna just band together, hold my hand." And then they had this <laughs> they had this conflict because you dumb doof Luther was it Luther like leave her <laughs> like I'll just leave her. And then they're like, no, we got to take her with her. Because they were going to leave number seven. Well, that's but, stupid. Right? I know. So, but they were then. was a dummy. That's why. And then. Yeah. Such an idiot. He's the doof. And, and then. They, so they grab her. And they all like band in hands. So they're going to go back in time. And, and bend, or number five is trying to do his thing. And then, But as he's trying to go back through time. Like they switch off and on. Like from childhood versions of themselves to a like adult so it's like so you don't it leaves it where they're doing this but you don't know like you figure they're gonna make it into the past right but you don't know if it's gonna be like their adult versions or their child versions like it kind of leaves it on that cliffhanger but it was it was test it was it was awesome Oh my gosh, it was so good! I can't wait for you to finally see it because none of that, none of that spoils it for you. I'm gonna yeah, no. <laughs> At this point, you know we've already gotten so close to that yeah. too. Like, I just, I still want to go watch it again. Like, we finished it. My husband and I finished it, and we're like, we gotta watch that again. Like, we have to. We know we missed. We had to have missed a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you're gonna want to watch it again if you guys haven't yeah. seen it yet, because there's so many different little things that I'm sure we didn't like even think about when we mm-hmm. watch it the first time that we'll see the second time and then when we finally get the next season we'll be like oh my gosh they hinted at that in season one you know and I didn't yeah. it the first time so I, this is one of those shows that I'm like I'm, I'm in love with it mm-hmm. I'm gonna watch it over and over again mm-hmm. even though I've seen it a million times yeah <laughs> it's gonna be so good oh gosh good job Amanda <laughs> yeah, good job. you did a good job <laughs> And I think it's gonna people. This is gonna catch everybody's gonna call him the doof. I think that's gonna catch Laura. You listen, Laura. When you go out and talk about it, make this make this happen. Make 
We're going to just mm-hmm. name number one. Everybody's going to know him as the doof because that's how I think he is. Like, he don't deserve that Allison. He don't deserve Allison. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. He doesn't at all. Mm-mm. I tell you, though, you know what one of my favorite parts was when um, number five, like, jumped back from there and they showed everything that had happened and it, like, rewound, you know? Like, yeah. like Klaus had finally summoned, uh, D- is his name Dave, right? And then that disappeared. And I'm like, oh, poor Klaus. No. Talking about how he wanted to talk to him and he couldn't talk to him. And it's mm-hmm. like, you did, though, in one timeline. <laughs> like, Can we talk about number five? <laughs> oh, my God. Number five is amazing. Can we talk about number five for a minute and his little um, his little uh, weird little fetish thing with the mannequin? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you got to watch this. Did you... Did you when, Did you see? when he brings her back and he tells that lady, like, she, like, sequins, I'm like, I would be like, what is this kid Well, Isn't talking? there a time when he was trying to throw her out the window? The no. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Dude, Dude was. He was trying to throw her out the window. That's right. He's a jerk. Yeah. Doof was, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. but he... <laughs> but, oh, Sarah, you missed episode... So did you see when he went and returned her to the store? No, I saw. Oh, he, he brings her back to the I store. Mean, eight or me nine? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was right before everything happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We- he was I letting her go. He that. he knew it was time to end the relationship. He was like, I gotta. This he's is- like, this is hard. I've, I've loved every moment I've had with you. And he's walking out. He puts, he's like, I'm sure you're happy to be back with your friend. And he puts her back in this pile of mannequins. And then he's walking out and he says to the lady working there, he's like, can you get that mannequin some new clothes? She likes sequins. I'm like, he's like, okay. I don't like, want to know. The question is, Tessa, did you cry? <laughs> uh, I have. Oh, I might have cried at some point with Klaus and Dave. I, I was just like, oh. I think when he died. When, oh, you know what it was? No, when he I was, it was the mannequin. Crawling. Oh, the mannequin. Yeah. No. No. I just said when I thought, I just was, was like. Crawling through the thing. But, 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 but yeah, about the, the drug. <laughs> but he was like picturing it as Dave. That was. Oh, oh yeah. Ah. Oh. And, he, and he like flashes back to being in the war and stuff, and he's and he died, and he's holding. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now we got to just depressed. I want to go back to Klaus and the mannequin, <laughs> and what happens in the apocalypse stays in the apocalypse. That's all I got to say. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> what happens in the apocalypse stays in the apocalypse. <laughs> but you know I just what? loved Klaus though. He was just so fun. Yeah. What'd you say, Tessa? Sorry. Klaus. I just loved it. He was, like, such a fun character. Like, everything about him. Mm-hmm. Even though he was, like, you know, a druggie and <laughs> kind of messed up. Everything yeah. about him except everything about him. <laughs> it does. Oh, he was such a great, like, you guys, you all loved him, too. Yes. I loved him. I loved that he wore skirts. Oh, yes. my God. I know. Blouses. Like, that was just the best. Oh, wait. Sean says, the soundtrack for this and Deadly Class were outstanding. Yeah. Set in New York for TV songs. Yes. I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. And and I'll tell you what else is up there with it is Cloak and Dagger. That soundtrack. Uh, yes. mm-hmm. the first yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I feel like they, they don't have a choice in the matter now with TV shows. Right. They got us interested somehow. So you better make the music good, mm-hmm. at least. And then we'll start actually pay attention, paying attention to the story. But you have yeah. to, like, music has to be on point. On point. So I, I still think it. that donut shop scene from is it the first episode? Maybe the second is still one of my favorite scenes of the whole thing with that fight. Just when the first time you see number five like fight, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. talking about when he's sitting because the, the lights are like flickering mm-hmm. I think and he's just like killing everybody. What I don't like about those fight scenes though, like I'm gonna tell you, if I can say a negative, some negatives. Why? Like, I didn't like that they wore those big dumb masks, number one. <laughs> I wanted them to come on, come in, you know, just, like, I wanted to be, like, a gritty fight scene. And I couldn't get into it with those masks that they wore. But, but, the way that went down with that and the way they had, like, the the one, uh, the old lady in the back <laughs> and her having to, have, like, retell that story. No, that was you're you're right. Yeah. That was like a good. That was a good scene. I liked it. I liked it a lot. But that was. Did you thing. like when they ate ate Klaus's chocolate and then went and <laughs> they thought they were just eating his chocolate and they got all high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they went to blow up the the free or the 
the me yeah. medical plates, I was dying. They were like on fire and like <laughs> stands on my face. And Mary J's ear were like caught on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I like how awesome. I'm Mary J now. What's that? Uh, what did you say, Sarah? Mary J. I said I, I like that we call her Mary J now. Yeah. Like we all know. Yeah. Whenever I didn't realize it was her. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, you know what? I was going to talk to you guys about this. So, since we're Marvel fans, mm -hmm. did you notice the, the Jean Grey parallel? I think that's how I figured oh, out. Oh, Dark right, Phoenix? Right? right? Where you think she's yeah. like the Phoenix, you mean? Yes. Vanya? Yep. Because at the, the yep. last episode, I was like, this is the Phoenix. Like, you're just kind of stealing. Well, not stealing, but that's how I figured out who she was right in the first episode. I was like, okay, this feels like a Jean Grey thing. Like, they're trying mm -hmm. to subdue yeah. her. That, me too. And she's mm -hmm. like, they're telling her she's not, like, good enough or, you know, like, you don't have any powers. Like, yeah. just to kind of keep her quiet because she has, like, the, the biggest power and you can't right. control her. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, man, this is, this is, she's Jean Grey. And then. It's Jean Grey, Phoenix. You, you're, you're right. Amira, right. um, how many times have you watched it? Oh, just the once. Oh, okay. I thought you said you had seen it multiple times. Oh, oh I'm you're catching everything. Time. You're good. What? Okay. This is comic stuff. So, like, this yeah. is my old school comic stuff. I haven't... This used to be me when I was little. Like, I will always, like, just dissect comic books. I'm too old now. Like, I look at... <laughs> He's awesome at it. I'm too old. I can't dissect them like I used to. But, like, this got me. I was like, oh, I caught that. I caught this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Klaus is going to have a different ability. I know yeah. it because it's really mm -hmm. funny. But there's something else there. I can't wait. And then it was, like, episode eight. And I was like, oh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> like that's this is my jam. So I was like, oh, that's Jean Grey. That's yeah, Jean Grey. I know it is. And then it was like a hero. Did you guys watch Heroes when it was on? Oh yeah, yeah. with the time traveling and like freezing time thing from yeah. Heroes. Yeah, I, I totally yeah. got that. That whole free and Siler stuff because I kind of mm -hmm. thought that guy was gonna be like Siler. I thought maybe he had powers oh. too. Oh, oh yeah, maybe. okay. Uh -huh. like Siler, I don't like him. And it, he was kind of like Siler, so he had no. No power, so you could just kill him off. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, he was. That's a good point. He was a lot like him. He was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was really fun. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do. Oh, my gosh. I just, I'm thinking of all of it, and there's just so much. Well, the like, time travel stuff is just like. When we were um when we were researching like just the comics, there's only like ten in this in like that are made for this, like the Umbrella Academy. I think it's something like ten, right? Just There'll be more now, guarantee you. Well they will be more now, but there's only like something like ten. It's like a really short yeah. series. I think it's only one trade paperback they yeah. told me when they were gonna order it for me. Yeah. I think it's only one, so and and they already I, someone said they're already like or making deals, sign on for like four seasons. So they're oh, gonna have yeah. to like so, I don't know. They're they're gonna have to like they're gonna go through I you know season at least season two maybe in the comics, but not past that. They're gonna have to just start writing up some stuff, don't you? Think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, think about it. There's technically all these other people, kids that were born the same day. They can go that route. Too. Yeah, they have they have a lot that they could a lot of ways they could go. Definitely. Yeah. Now, Amira, have you watched Deadly Class at all? I haven't. Not yet. I am. You gotta watch that. I think yeah. it's it's dirty though. It's dirt. Like this one, it is, but it's also like, based on a comic. This one it's has, kids being raised to be assassins. I mean, it's. I like Deadly Class, but it ain't in the same league. I think as as the Umbrella Academy. I don't know. I put them pretty even for me. I don't. But the thing is, you gotta you gotta consider. There's only so many episodes of Deadly Class. You're not. You're not at a full season yet. You're still at six. You you don't know how it's going to all come together, which is usually what makes I, you love the whole series as a whole. Episode one that I was into this, I was like, that, and I knew from right away, like, I'm getting out. All right, well, now we're doing Deadly Class versus Umbrella Academy, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Deadly Class is Russo Brothers. <laughs> that says a lot. I think it it's, a lot. that one is darker. Like, I think. You know, this one has a lot of violence and some bad words and stuff, but it's not like horrible. You know what I mean? Like this is this is still oh, like Kanye's like, watching this. Kanye's watching this. I think Deadly Class like it's dirtier, darker. It's a good deadly class. Kill it, like yeah, it's it's just worse. So, but I like that this one is not like they didn't have to go that route. They didn't have to go the route of like all the cursing in the, you know, in the Umbrella mm -hmm. Academy, too, because 
I let my kids watch it. I, Zach won't, but I was like, I was like, you should watch this. It's really good. <laughs> He's like, I guess my mom wants me to watch something. I'm not. It's like it's not cool. But <laughs> but I'm just saying, like my for a teenager, I think it's all right to you know. I think they like it. But not, but not deadly, not deadly, not deadly, not deadly class. Class. No, there's bestiality in that. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Oh, no, don't listen to Tessa. Remember when she tried to get Tanya to watch it? Uh-uh. <laughs> no. No, you Tanya, don't watch it. I said Tanya, don't watch it. Well, I think that that kid is going to be, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's going to show you why he thought his roommate should die. Because he was into bestiality. Oh, my gosh. You're going to have to tell me one episode that so I could probably skip it. You don't even see anything. anything. He just pats a goat on the back and it's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah. I just think that goat was bad. I don't think I'm trying to mess with that show. Oh, my gosh. I love it. All right. So, let's wrap this up. We've been talking for a while. And we spoiled, I think, almost everything. We spoiled all for you. We didn't say much about Diego and the cop. That was interesting. I liked that. That. Uh, Diego gets, Diego on, my gets on my nerves. I don't like Diego. He gets, he gets on my nerves. When he gets his mom, like, mom, like, like, like yeah. Like, yeah. Like, then he was all like, like, I just don't like him. Like, so. yeah. yeah. I don't like him, but the mom thing, actually, I feel that's the only time I feel a little compassion for him, actually, is when he's like, look, you know, no, that's the only time I even somewhat tolerate him. But, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Got, he got he killer. Got killer. He killed her. Killed her. Like, like, <laughs> but then he got bad. No, no, no. Just kidding. <laughs> like, if you try, as long as you feel bad after all, I'll feel bad for you. <laughs> no, Diego did kind of get I mean, the Klaus was easily my favorite. Then probably number five. I really I liked really him. Liked I thought him. he was great. He was so funny. so funny. Being like this grown up grown man up in a little kid's little body. Kid body. It was just, just hilarious. Hilarious. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, I'm thinking about know. his acting that, skills. I guess I would say Allison, say Allison probably. probably. Yeah. I did like and her. I like, felt bad for her, although he's when they show. I was. I was let me tell you, I did look at my husband and I go, did you use that for a while, girl, girl, that they were doing that? He's like, yeah, probably. When she would not, she's like, I heard a rumor you're tired. Go to sleep. My kids would be getting straight A's. I heard a rumor you study all the time. <laughs> I heard a rumor you want to rub mama's feet. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 <laughs> look, you don't think I would? <laughs> but going back to number five, number five. Going back to number five. Don't you think that kid is an amazing actor? Yes. yes, because he was, he was good. Good. Yeah. yeah, like he is believable. Like I'm looking at him. Like when you watch it, you're like, oh, he's an old man. Like he acts. Yeah. Like, like, when he's sitting there drinking he, his margaritas, he don't think any anything different. I'm like, he needs to win some kind of a nomination award. Like he is good. Mm-hmm. He is good. Good. Yeah, he was awesome. They're all. I just. I really enjoyed all of them. I thought they did a good job. Even Diego, who got on my nerves. <laughs> Be a good actor because he got him on nerves. Yeah, right. Episode, I, was like, I think he was supposed to. Funny. So, so from everything, look right here. This is getting two thumbs up from me. I uh, uh, overall the the plot, the writing, the music, the acting, just ever everything. I I loved it. I it's one of my I I felt like a a hole was it so in my life after I finished the series, like after I watched it on Netflix. I'm like. Oh, I miss that it. is a bit dramatic. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself now. <laughs> now that that's over. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's let's close out, but I want to close out and each of us I want each of us to share um an answer to this question. Okay. What do you think or how do you think episode 1 season 2 is going to start? With Ooh. another baby being born. <laughs> oh. Could be really? start somebody else's story. Could yeah, like showing. I like, could see them doing number, that. Other number, like like number eight or nine or whatever of forty, whatever they had forty two, forty seven. What was it? Forty three. Forty three. 
So you said, I, I don't, gonna, I don't think, you just think some of those other people have to have powers. You're going to, yeah. they're going to bring in new cat, some new casts and new heroes with it too. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure there'll be new casts, but I wonder if they'll start off with them jumping. Like, see, I don't know because I haven't seen the very end, but you guys said they're trying to make that jump. I wonder if it'll be them popping into wherever. What? As, like, I don't know, <laughs> kids. Or, I don't know because I can't really say because I haven't seen the end yet. You know what I mean? It's hard to say. Or maybe it'll be Vanya waking up or who knows. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one, too. Mm-hmm. It'll probably highlight numbers. Seven, though. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't say mine yet. I'll say I, mine. Okay. I think that. Oh gosh. See now I'm torn. So I was originally gonna say I think they're gonna hop. Like <clears> I think <throat> they they will make it with their little thing all together. They're all <laughs> they're all gonna be kids wherever they're going. But I think they're gonna go back to before like. When they were little, like before they actually started fighting crime, I think that's where they're gonna put oh. them back. And then it's di- it'll be different because Va- they'll know about Vanya this time. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, so they're already together, like and as a family, but they haven't started fighting crime yet. Yes, I think they're gonna hop back when they. Ho- I think they're gonna hop back as like kid their kid selves. Number one, mm-hmm. I think they're gonna hop back as their kid selves. And I think it will be on the day they were born. Oh. Uh, and I, like, I even have a little of Sarah's in it. Like, I think they're going to use something or something the day they were born that, to help, like, her come back. Cause I, or whatever. Or, like, you know, something to do, though. It's going to be sitting around. Because we, I don't know if, I, if number seven's dead or what. But still, she's oh. powerful and pissed at them all. She's not dead. There's no way. Yeah, I think she just passed out, but they don't like she's in a coma or something mm-hmm. like that. I think. Yeah. I don't. Well, I mean, we don't know, but but mm-hmm. I'm gonna be on the day they were born or something like so, and as their kids selves. So or the like, day they all got to the house or something. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, I agree. It's gonna be something like that. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Well, we won't know until yeah. for day. We gotta wait. <laughs> like uh, it's gonna feel like a million I years. Wait. I know. Good gravy. But anyway, yeah. thank you guys for joining us tonight. This was yes. so fun. Hopefully, if you haven't started it, start it this weekend. Binge it. It is mm-hmm. so, so worth it. It's worth your time. It's so fun. Um, we, I guarantee we didn't really spoil anything for you. We told you everything. It's still amazing. You gotta watch it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And if you guys did watch it and you you enjoyed being with us tonight, thank you so much for being with us and commenting and having fun with us. We love this show, obviously. And we'll do more of these where you know all the geekly spin and do all that fun stuff and kind of come on here and we can all discuss uh, episodes for a series together. So you guys are loving these and we love them too. So thanks for joining us and we will see you guys again. Next Tuesday, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. coming Tuesday. Tuesday. And before we go, and we uh, have a giveaway too next uh, Tuesday. We do have. Oh, they better come back to hear about the giveaway. They better come back. Y'all better be here. But before we go, you know we got to do it. Everybody, stand.